The Houston Rockets, 20 and 5 since the All Star break, best mark in the league, and getting the best of the Utah Jazz in the first half. 59 44 is the count behind James Harden, 17 points and 7 assists. It's the American Express halftime report. Bernie Johnson with Kenny Shaq and Charles. And we start with the American Express teammates, as we always do, and James Harden is on that list. For sure, along with P.J. Tucker and Clint Capella, 17 for Harden, hitting half his shots. He also has seven assists mm. in the first half. What would you make of uh, what you saw from the MVP candidate and the reigning MVP? Well, you know what's interesting about those stats? That was going to be actually my point. I didn't even know exactly what they had going on. But you see, they pushing James off the three-point line. They're forcing him right. He's taking a, a couple step back threes, but see, they're forcing him right. That's not forcing, that's giving it. No, no, they're that's giving what they're it. giving it. They, they, right. they, they don't want him to shoot threes. I think they think Gobert's going to block those, but two things uh, hurt the Jazz. Number one, James had seven assists where he got the ball to Capella, but also P.J. Tucker. If you actually look at the stats, they did exactly what they wanted to because uh, uh, – other than other, no, no, other than um, P.J. Tucker, nobody's making threes. But you can see how they got a game plan. They're going to force him right. They're going to make him pass the ball. And Capella and Tucker stepped up. That's been the difference in the first half. I, I know we have plays, but I, I don't know if I, I like the strategy. I, I, you know, I, I just think forcing him right, not forcing him, giving him right, is like a, f- a half-court fast break. And so he still has 17 points. Exactly. And he still, still has 17. So, so he's on pace for 34 points and 14 assists. So that's, good. that's a losing recipe in my I think the Utah Jazz are good enough defensively to play him straight up to a certain degree, play the way they typically have played uh, throughout the season. I think creating this new defensive scheme to guard James Harden you know, we have, I, have a, I, have a, I have a circle of guys that I talk to. <laughs> There's always texting. Ross Strickland's one of them. So I'm saying, as I'm saying, it, how are they doing this one man? For, he's texting me the same thing. It, to me, it is too easy for a great player to be forced. Not forced. There's a difference between forcing and allowing a guy to go right. They're allowing him to go right. Then he could step back. It, it, to me, forget the plays of, of what I was going to show. To me, that is a recipe for for a loss. 17 in the half, three out of five from deep, seven out of 14 from the field, also seven assists for Harden. We talked before the game, and, and you got uh, uh, quite a kick out of... Uh, I, I'm just saying, I actually... Uh, Clint Capella and Rudy Gobert. Clint, Clint, <laughs> Clint's playing well, 10.5 for nine, and Rudy Gobert, six points. Yeah. Great big man matchup, roll the tape. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you, if you weren't here earlier, you would And it starts at the this. beginning at the jump ball. Ooh, look at the height on the jump ball, how he gets the jump ball and tap it back. Right here, Rudy <laughs> Gobert with the great feet work. Energy was, uh, Ernie was talking with so much energy right there. Ooh, this is on the land. But no, Man. seriously, this is what they do. They get drop-offs, and they go up, and they actually score a lot of points. So if the guards can get them the ball and get them easy buckets like this, then they will have big games. But they're not the traditional centers that you really, really post up. But they're playing good. You know, they're doing what they're doing. This play right here. It's amazing. Look at this play with the backwards Man. layup out hey, Shaq, of you. Wow. Shaq, earlier, wow. when you said pregame, when you were talking about those, I gave you, now you're hating. That's it. That is, that is oh, man. No, you you weren't hating them. Yeah. Did that you hear me strange. just say, but seriously? Did, 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 yes or no? You after, mean, you, after you clowned him for one minute. I didn't clown him. Yes, you did. Yes, you did. did. Yes, you did. Yes, just, my man no, tripped, and you just, call him feet work. Yeah, it is. <laughs> it is. It is. You, oh, look at the height on this jump ball. That was, that was, oh, man. That was a cruel was breakdown, great. too. Hey, man. Right was it not? That was Come on, cruel. man. Everybody <laughs> ain't you, Shaq. Everybody <laughs> ain't you. You don't compare hey, yourself. I'm not saying. I'm just saying. You don't compare yourself to other people, no. man. But, Everybody's not as good no. as you, Shaq. By, by the way, here's a stat for you from the first half. Ernie was just Houston. talking like the guys that you post up. You don't Houston, put, dudes get dropped. Last in the NBA in points in the paint, 33. The last? Yeah, Ugh. but 34 in the first half of this game. Wow. Well, that's because they're forcing. It, no, not forcing. Allowing. him have a runway to go to the Allowing. right-hand side. Oh. Oh, oh my Chuck goodness. Could do that right right entertainment in Houston. I bet you couldn't do that to them big-ass women in San Antonio. Oh. <laughs> We're not even in San Antonio. Oh, no, you could do that to them little skinny Houston oh. women. You can't do that to them big old women in San Antonio. Yeah.
Why not? <laughs> hey, you kick one of the big old women in San Antonio, they'll they fly through. What about Victoria's Secret? Oh, Victoria's Secret down there. Oh, <laughs> she's still a secret? <laughs>